Hola, bienvenidos a IMA Cho. In mi opinion, homosexual. Me llamo Darby. Me llamo Alexis P. Bubbles. The P today stands for power bars. They're still gross. Um, is that for like lift weights? Yeah. I used to do that. I'd like to get back into it. Power bars or lifting weights? Lifting weights and maybe power bars too. I don't know. That could be a part of my journey. I changed my mind about what the P stands for today. Uh oh. Pumpkin pie pop tarts. They're the new seasonal pop tart. I think I'd rather have a power bar. Are you a pumpkin flavor person? You know what? I'm Traditionally, not. I love a piece of pumpkin, a small piece, triangular piece of pumpkin pie with whipped cream. But I think for me, it's mostly about the whipped cream. Oh yeah. Oh. But whip. those. Cool whip. Cool whip. Cool whip. Cool whip. I love cool whip cool from whip. the refrigerator, not the freezer. My husband puts it in the freezer like a fucking crazy person. If you put cool whip in the refrigerator, it's. It melts and, oh God, I'm hard. I've been getting turned on by a lot of weird things lately. Really? Just cool it mainly. Are you okay? No. We are filming 400 Drag Race episodes tonight, so let's just jump into this. We are down to the final four. It's the finale of Drag Race Mexico. Oh, I'm happy to be here. Okay. At Me too. Floor. Me too. I really enjoyed this season. I, I must did too. say. Incredible first season. Really, really fun. And just getting to see a different side of Valentina and obviously Lolita Banana. And really get to know some of these girls from different parts of the world. It's really great. Well, just four of them, really. The rest, they left too soon. The episode starts. We're back in the workroom and they're all just kind of crying and hugging and they can't believe it's happening. And Christiane said, we have worked so hard. And she's crying. We've worked so hard for so many years in all these different bars and clubs. And our feet hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I felt that when right? she said it. <laughs> Why are there so many gay bars with just hard ass floors? Oh my Get some God. laminate in there. Who invented concrete anyway? I want to have a word with you. God, probably. But that was just really sweet. And I love seeing, I love seeing them cry. What is that? I need to Chama. investigate that later. Chama. Oh yeah, true. It's a finale episode, right? Mm -hmm. There's gonna be a lip sync. There's always a music video. There's always a little chat, a sit down with the hosts. Now this sit this, down. Okay, I know what you're gonna say. I Do think, it. Well, I think we should say it at the okay. same time. Now usually the chat is sponsored by Tic Tacs. Well, not sponsored by, but, but the they running have joke. Tic Tacs is Correct. the running joke. And in Drag Race Mexico, the sponsor is Sprite. Bright. <laughs> And, and there's not so only, much Sprite. There's so much Sprite. And so normally much. no one eats the Tic Tacs. They just sit there. But this time they're cracking bottles open. They're pouring it into cups. How can you resist I the gotta crisp, be honest. refreshing flavor of, of Sprite? Lemon, lime. Listen, I gotta be honest. I don't like lime. At first it made me... What? I hate the taste of lime. But what about like margaritas and guacamole? And all don't like it. I don't like lime. So what do you... I just don't put lime on the guacamole. I don't drink Sprite. Is there, are those two alligators? Oh yeah, this was the episode that you missed. I'm wearing this because this was the necklace I ordered when they did the runway of the lady that you don't know about. It was delivered as Curtis and I were filming and I was devastated. So I wanted to wear it before Mexico was gone forever from our memories. You know how they say inside of you are two wolves? Is inside of mine you two alligators? alligators. Yeah. Mine, mine are raccoons. They're both draw. What? Mine are raccoons. Fighting oh, yeah. over garbage. Yeah. You got cute little hands. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I love a product placement. Incredible. And it hit me over the head with it. Not only the cups and all of that, but as they're sitting there talking, the screen on the wall right above them just says Sprite. Yeah, and sometimes so they're great. just closing up on their hands, open it, cracking open a fresh one. Listen, it made me want to do it. Honestly, it made me want to do it as well. You know, I'm. A I mean, not theme. Sprite though, not Sprite. Well, certainly not do a squirt, possibly for the final time. Let's say hello to <sighs> Valentina. Hola. Get out of here. Fucked. You stupid, beautiful bitch. Listen. She's so listen. hot. I take back everything I've ever said. What? What have you said? That she said I was mad at her and I think it's her fault that Shay Kool-Aid didn't win her season. You think it's her fault? Yeah, Valentina. If she didn't own her words, she would have not gone home. You think it's her fault that Shay Kool-Aid didn't win? I think it's her fault that they got rid of the top three and made it a top four and turned it into a lip sync off. Oh, you think the top three would have been Valentina, Sasha, and Shay? Yeah. Did you get that from Reddit? 
No, I've been oh. thinking about this for years. I don't know that you can blame Valentina for that. I think you need to blame. I think that she threw a wrench in the whole system because up until then they were doing those fun numbers. Remember when Kim Chi and they all did? Oh yeah, that was and fun. And they were doing the fun and you were just letting to see them shine. And then it just became about lip syncing. All of a sudden you could win a whole season by just killing one lip sync, which is great. And I'm not mad at her, but I Technically, do think- it was more than one. But I do think Valentina started that whole thing. I think the reason Shea Kalei did not win that season is more on the florist's hands than on Valentina's. <laughs> yeah. The Technically. The florist's hands are red from the petals. From the petals. Yeah. Obviously. But she looks But insane. I take back all of that. She looks insane. Because she, she looks, looks so and good. she's got petals on her head now. Let's talk about a full circle. Thank you so much. Talk about full circle. Yeah, she's gorgeous. You think those are metal holding that up? Uh, I think there's a pipe like a cleaner wire, or two. Wire, wire, maybe. Lolita banana. Okay. I just I love her so much and what? she's in her signature banana yellow. Oh, you! You do. Well, you mustard. Yeah, we're ketchup and mustard because we're catching up on Mexico. Yeah, catching up to say goodbye. She just looks so good. I love Lolita Banana. Again, I know I've said this a thousand times, yeah. but this season, she has taken my heart and she put it and right next to her giant And she has healed it. Like a banana. Like a banana, and then she has shoved it right in her. Banana hole. Banana hole. <laughs> you know what? I take back everything I've said about her too. What did you say? Let's start with our finalists. First up, we have Christiane Peralta. Yes. Now, she went bride, which uh, she wasn't the only one. And I get, because, you know, in, in like a runway show, okay, fashion, yeah. you know, the final piece of the collection used to always be a wedding dress. Yeah. So I thought that was really sweet. They used to go workwear, lingerie, swim, evening wear, bridal. And that was the official order. You don't need to look it up. Okay, do you want to know something? Yeah. I met someone recently who has two surfboards and likes to go surfing. And he said that he would take me surfing. You I said, one. fabulous, because I actually know You're going to go surf. surfing? I know how to surf. You do? Yeah, I did it when I was little. I wonder if I could still do it. When you were little? You're, when I was a teen. You're a grown And then when now. I was in my 20s. You did? Yes. Oh, you meant little, like tiny body. Yes, which brings me to my point, because he said... <laughs> We could go surfing. <laughs> we could go surfing. And I thought, well, I have to get an outfit. Because I don't have a wetsuit. You don't? I'm I looked, shocked. I looked. You can get one with a little skirt on it. That's cute. And would that be cute? Well, you gotta let the sharks know that you're a lady. I would love Are you to gonna be go? by a shark. You know, I think I might if the offer still stands. The conversations you have on these dating apps, you're a completely different woman from the woman I know. You're yeah. you're personable. Well, and you're trying to make plans with people. You're horny. I'm, I'm trying. I'm putting you really the are. effort into it. I love that when she threw the bouquet, Valentina tried to catch it, but it was... Say with me, too far away. We never learned his name. Who? The male judge that was in every episode. Do we hate gay people? Yes. So, Christian Pearl, I thought she looked really good. I thought she yeah, looked, she looked so great. beautiful, and I loved the hair. And, and we get to remember that she's married to a woman, and she fucks that woman. Yeah! And she wants us to remember that. Yeah, she does. Up next, we have a bride with a very different vibe. <laughs> yeah. This is Vegas Bride. Okay, we're doing Shiny Shiny. Yeah. This is Regina Voce. Regina Voce. Now, I gotta be honest, I kind of love everything she does. I don't care that she's 80s referential. I do not like like this <laughs> but i still love her and i still want to look at her face and her body looks absolutely amazing. stunning i appreciate the i wish work. i could do body like i appreciate that. the work that went into this but i agree her style if it had style, just been if you couldn't all. if you had just been able to not see the panty line because it's just the upper thigh you're seeing and then when the mermaid part skirt comes then you're not seeing the legs so if it had just been a straight down all the way through white i would have loved it better but the fact that you can see the panty underneath and the legs, which is not for me, Regina Voce, but I love you. And I like the hair, even though it's kind of weird. Oh, I didn't like the hair. It's kind of weird. It is weird. But I love her, and I will always love that face. Yeah, and that Voce. Up next, we have Matraca. <gasps> I thought she was wearing a mask. She looks incredible. The way that the light was hitting it she and how incredible. she was standing, I thought she was wearing a mask. She looks absolutely stunning and gorgeous. You have one piece of hair on your lip. Can I get it? <sighs> Uh, I got it. it that was, gave me goosebumps. That gave me goosebumps. 
Do it again, do it again. <laughs> okay, we were at Matraca. We love Oh yeah, perfect. I love, I simply adore her. And then finally, rounding out our top four is Galabaro. Yes, with a very not round gown. It's pointy. Now, I liked it. I liked the uh, idea. audacity. Okay, I love the sheer audacity. It was just a bummer because those reflective plates, she just literally had tied around her with a string. Yeah, they were barely hanging on. So as way. she moved, they kind of flew everywhere. When I move, you move. And just then like that. when she turned around, the you back. You could see the back, yeah. Yeah, the back wasn't reflective as well. She did say something about, I know I, I didn't do as much, or this is simpler than the other girls, or something. So maybe this was like a backup. Hopefully the first one caught on fire and she wasn't able to wear it or something. Well, maybe not this hopefully strange. it caught on fire, but maybe something happened to the first one. But I do want to say thank you so much for wearing the corset, because you know I've, I've had that note. This was actually kind of the first time I remember I'm sure it's not the first time the whole time. Listen, it's been a long season that she had this body. Yeah, and I really. I think this that. probably photographs way better than it. Moves. Than it moves. Yeah, because yeah. it's really stunning just looking at the photograph. Oh, it's striking for sure, and she almost struck herself with those. Blades. Yeah. So yeah. let's go ahead and talk about the music video and the live performance. What did you think? I thought that they were great. I really enjoyed, let's start with the positive. I really enjoyed that it went from music video to live. Oh yeah. That was super fun. And then when all the eliminated girls came back. And I loved when back, the eliminated girls me came me and they so did this. so happy. I did not like the music video part. It was so dark. Yeah, I it was couldn't tell choppy. who was performing what. Also, <laughs> When they're walking through like the backstage area, the girls in the front are changing positions. So they each get their moment with the front camera, but back camera is only Rahina Voce. She was caboose the whole time. So the entire time the front is just like serving it to the camera. They're really living it up. And then Rahina's just, bless her heart. She's just kind of turning around every now and then like, I know the words. Unfortunately, she was in a position that she wasn't able to really be graceful. It was her just kind of, you still there? Let's do the returning queens and their finale oh. looks. So up first, Miss Vallarta, kind of in another wedding. Yeah, 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 Chandler weddings. Well, you know, this is what I wore to my third wedding with sweet um, Garm. He's dead now, of course, you know that, but. He died at the wedding, I remember. No, 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 he actually, a lot of people thought he did. He was just choking really bad. Oh, right. He didn't die He choked till, for a long time. He didn't die till a couple weeks later after the divorce, but I told him, I told him not to shove wedding cake in my face. And then what did he do? Fuck you. Instant divorce. Do you see? Recently that woman, she annulled her wedding because her husband destroyed their wedding cake. Yeah, here's the thing. Here's the Fuck thing. Fuck you, dude. Get a little on the nose, whatever. If Talk about it beforehand. But you're not shoving anything in your bride's face. And unless also, it's your cock. And you're... And even then, wait till after the reception. But get it good and covered in cake first. <laughs> you want your cake, honey? You gotta eat it off my cack. <laughs> but the guy in the, the the girl who annulled the wedding, the guy destroyed their wedding cake, and he thought oh it was so God. funny. Obviously, that was not the reason they annulled, but it was it was the turning point. Although, if you get to that point Mama. where something as small as well as large as destroying a wedding cake is what annuls your wedding. Should you have gotten married in the first place? Now I'm not victim blaming, but I am victim questioning. Maybe they should have had a smash cake. Cause you know, that's a thing <gasps> R.I.P. Smash Mouth. Not all of them, just the Lee. Oh. I'm never watching Shrek again. Well, I'm not either, but because I didn't like it. But listen, I was obsessed with Smash Mouth Astro Lounge. That was a, such a strange moment. All Star is a good song, but you gotta listen it all the way through. That's probably my only CD that I like that's men singing. Really? Yeah, them and Jack Black, Tenacious D. I don't really need men to sing. I liked Hanson before all their voices changed. Miss Viarta looked great. She did her signature pink and- Yeah, she looks pretty. Yeah. She looked pretty. Vermelia Noir. Vermelia Noir, she looks stunning and gorgeous. Are you kidding me? This is really cool. Outrageous, fun. gorgeous, and gorgeous. Fun. And fun. Then we have Pixie Pixie. I am so ashamed that Fuck. I- momentarily forgot about Pixie. I How? really was shocked. Well, because they sent her home too I early. I she should have been there longer. They did send her home too early and she looked this look absolutely is fucking outrageous. cool. Outrageous. Then we had Serena Morena. More wedding look. More wedding. I thought cute. it was fine. Yeah, it was she cute. looked really cute. Yeah, it's cute. And did you see Valentina goes, wow. 
I love that. I love Valentina's honest reactions to everything. Oh, white? A wedding gown? Then we had our hennies. Our hennies? More like, are you kidding me? Why are you wearing <laughs> Listen, it's I, it was I wild. like you, our hennies. This is wild. wild. Yeah. This is wild. It's a finale. Have some fun. Make some drama. This is a weird. This is a weird take. And Am it I, was. Are we no, wrong? No. 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 We're absolutely right. Everything we say is right. <laughs> but it was even more striking when she stepped to the back and she stepped down. She's standing right next to Pixie Pixie, and I was like, "Look at what Pixie's wearing." Yeah. And look at your little crop top, you bitch. Maybe her first outfit caught on fire. <gasps> Uh, she was trying to help Galavaro get dressed and she was smoking. Oh, and yeah. And she caught both of them on fire. Yeah. Okay, well now it's all making sense. And okay. I like it now. Yeah. I mean, it is, okay, positives. It's cute. She looks great in it. It is mismatched. Yeah. Come on. I mean, I like the fluffy butt. I like the fluffy butt. I like butt. fluffy butt. I like fluffy butt. So the points for fluffy butt. Next up, Margaret. Yeah. yeah. I want to, hold on. Oh, I just noticed that the, the crown was hands. It's so... Listen. Talk about going home too early. Well, this is not something new, right? Established queens, queens who are very well known in their drag community, they get on Drag Race, the judges don't quite see them the way everyone else sees them, and it's really frustrating to watch. And so I must say, for me, part of me, it was hard to watch. Every time she'd come out in some incredible look or something just so signature Margaret Ya that you know the internet is eating up. And then the judges are like, I don't know, your makeup's weird. That was tough. Yeah. But this look, this look was incredible. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Then we had finally rounding out the leftovers. <laughs> the Carol. eliminated Lady Carol. Lady Carol. I loved this. I, I loved thought it looked so this. cool. Very Cersei, very Game of Thrones. It was just so fucking good. I loved Lady Carol. Yeah. I loved watching her growth throughout. Well, not that gross. She had that removed. But oh. I loved watching her kind of come to life in yeah. this her, series. Her, what is it when a butterfly comes out? Metamorphosis. Yeah, sure. blossom. She blossomed on that stage. Now, in any great finale episode, or even maybe the penultimate episode, we uh, get... Some, some have said. We get the, what would you say to little... And oh, we, yeah. this was no exception, and it was adorable, and I liked seeing them get to talk to themselves. Did you shed any tears? No, you know I hate that part. I hate that part. You do? I want to see you talk to a three-year-old like that. I'm so proud of you. You've well, got such a beautiful life ahead of you. If you did that to a three-year-old, that's fucking insane. But it's to yourself. A I was not a smart three-year-old. I was a regular three-year-old. Well, if I had to say something to my three-year-old self, I'd be like, I was very hey, get that out of your mouth. For my age, get that out of your mouth. But I was quiet. See, a lot of people God's thought not I real. was slow because I was just quiet, remember that, but I okay? was just kind of observing everything. It's, it's going to come back. The perks it's it's really going to pay off if you just keep That's that That's a mind. book that Don't I would have been able to read had it been out when I was three. I was very advanced. And then after three, everyone else caught up with me, and then I stayed You stopped catching up. Yeah. And then we get a final lip sync. It's all four. It's all for at the same time and this lip sync honestly just felt like a victory lap for all of them it didn't yeah. feel competitive which i really enjoy okay but, but we I got say, we got it was so intense it was so intense and i really thought oh. when christian took off the wig that was very clearly like firmly attached to her forehead and underneath was a wig cap i thought surely this isn't the moment she takes a wig off and there's nothing under it then she took the wig cap off and oh. she whipped her hair around and i said oh thank god yeah you thought she was gonna be like I'm a dude under here. I fuck. Well, because you know how some people like that? Some yeah. people love ripping their wig off. It's very La Cajo Fall. I don't want to see that. No. You know what not I mean? Not on my finale. So that was really well, cool. Well, she not only ripped her wig off, she ended up giving herself a haircut in the middle of it. I gotta say, I do enjoy traumatic moments, okay? And that, that traumatized me for sure. Yeah. But I was so uncomfortable this whole time, I gotta admit. Everyone was so emotional, and I was like, y'all are standing too close to one another to be having these solo emotional moments, you know? Yeah. Like, they weren't interacting with each other, but they're... Like, if you and I are standing right next to each other, Which we and we're just are. sobbing, crying, Thank and lip syncing, else. but not acknowledging one another, it's weird, right? It's weird. Or what we call a family reunion <laughs> at the old McCrary household. 
y'all cry standing next to each other, but and you don't the rest look at of each them other. Ignore, yeah, completely ignoring everyone's feelings. And well, that's family. That's different. I don't know. It made me really uncomfortable. I hated it. Well, you. What you need to do is ask yourself. If I was right, and I am. <laughs> it's time. It's, it's time, time for crowning. We're crowning a goddamn winner. And you know, this came out of nowhere. This was really the dark horse of the competition. Did she have any wins? I don't remember. I'm glad we were sitting down at that moment because it yeah. really. I was laying. I was laying down. What well, we all assumed. <laughs> so the winner of Drag Race Mexico season, season one, one is Christian Peralta. Congratulations, Kristen. Take. <laughs> <laughs> Kristen is the name Kristen. of the woman he fucks. Oh! No, congratulations, Kristen. Congratulations, Kristen. I'm Kristen Peralta. Beyond thrilled for her. You know what? She's so what good. What a job well done yeah. from start to finish. Yeah, I, I would have been happy this. to see anyone. But probably Galavaro win. I think Galavaro is perfect pickings for an All Stars or a versus completely the world. Completely agree. Completely agree. Because Galavaro is hot. Is hot and is yeah. great TV. Yeah. Remember when we got that lesson about tucking? Yeah, and one day she's gonna try it. <laughs> Well, we have had so much fun watching Drag Race Mexico with all of you. And thank you so much for going along this ride. Si, si, si. Dari, yeah. before we leave, I have one question. Okay. Estas en Oaxaca? At this moment in time, currently? Let's see. A little. A little okay. poquito. Porque, little poquito. Porque. Okay, the only other Spanish I know is cow. Vaca. Wait. I'm calling you a cow, I think. Oh. And I have to ask you this. Okay. Donde esta la biblioteca? Ah, si, si, si. Uh, uh, tu ven a la biblioteca. Ven diagram. Mm. Uh, we really? got to get back to Barcelona so we can really get going on this. Well, thank yeah. you so much, everyone. We will be watching every other drag race that ever comes out. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and, of course, the notification yeah. bell. And if you miss this, join us on Patreon. Patreon.com slash I of the show where we do other things. We do. And we're also both on Cameo. So if you want a message from us to a loved one, a hated one, or Christiane Peralta, go ahead and hit us up there. Yes. You can also get a Shamio by going to I Meet Show the Show show.com and ordering a shambio it's like your own little episode we say the most unhinged things yes and all in spanish si, si, si. also all of our merch is on dragqueenmerch.com did you hear that when the neighbors flush their toilet i do feel like my house is gonna fall down that was scary i know <laughs> all right well we'll see <laughs> we'll see you later bye audio we did um, it girl we did mexico we did the whole season except for one episode that's not true and oh did you one. did know one episode. No, did I did we it. skip one? Nope. We did mm. every single episode. No, I feel like we skipped. No, we didn't. You <sighs> don't remember what we do as soon as you leave this place. And you're saying I'm the one that is mistaken? Yeah. No. You skipped one episode. This lady's episode. And I definitely remember her name. I just don't want to, like, call her out right now. Two Crocs. Remember that movie, The Rescuers, where she has those Crocs? Or those gators and she rides them? Bitch. Can I share something with you that makes me... I'm mad about it, okay? Oh, okay. It's not okay. at you. You're safe. But I'm irritated. It's still in the hot. Yes, I am mad at my husband, okay? Did you know that if you leave Crocs in the hot sun, what the fuck? That's them taking a shower. They take showers like late at night and it's so, isn't that loud? It is loud. I'd rather them be dirty. Are your eyes green? Yeah. Have they always been such? They're green hazel. Oh, they're really green right now. Thank you so much. Yeah. They'll key out with the green screen. He'll go out on the roof and the roof is hot, so he'll just put on a pair of Crocs or whatever. By the way, my Crocs, I'm the one who, owe, who owns three pairs of Crocs, okay? Well, if you leave them in the sun, because he'll take them off while he's like lounging, and then he just comes back in, he forgets they're out there. They shrink. Crocs shrink. Okay, they shrink in the sun. It happened to one pair, my favorite pair, by the way. <gasps> khaki, they're khaki. I got them for a circuit mom party we did years ago. They're my favorite pair. They shrunk. I can't wear them anymore, they hurt. He's like, oh my God, I left them in the sun. I didn't know that that would happen. I was like, to be fair, I didn't either. So like that one, that's on God. Later that week, my other pair. He did it again? Pair, he did it again. He left them in the sun, completely shrunk. Cannot wear them anymore. Shrunk like a size? Yes, bitch. Shrunk like a lot. Really? Yes. 
Maybe they'll fit me. Because you know I've got tiny, tiny little feet. Your feet are much bigger than mine. And they're wide. They're strong. They they leave an impression, well, yeah. mostly in sand when I'm at the beach. But they're very petite. But like one time, okay. But two times, and... You That's a said, crock! You'd, <laughs> you and he said, when I was like, okay, so can you get me more crocs? He goes, no, I looked online. I figured out a way that you can stretch them back. And I was like, no, no they're you never going to feel they're the same. They're never going to feel the same. No. Get me new crocs. You, oh, I almost called him a bitch, but he's got a giant cock. Listen, I want my khaki crocs and I want my navy blue crocs. They I want the, them back. They weren't the Mickey Mouse ones, were they? No. Thank God he hasn't touched those. Uh, you gotta, oh. you gotta hide them. Okay, bye.